All right, guys, we're about to do some deer hunting. You want to come along? Sure, come on, let's go. Alright guys, it is about 7 a.m. We've been out here since 5.45 before sun up. You might be able to hear the train going by in the background. I haven't seen a deer yet, but this is a great spot. Let me give you a, a look of what look see of what I'm looking at. that goes down there at the base of that is a creek bed We've got a little right there you see a little water for the deer but just an absolutely beautiful place my good friend Wayne allowed me to sit in his stand this is his stand that he built He's further on, way, way back that way and over here in a ground blind on the other side of the creek bed. But I've heard a lot of noise around me, but I think it's just squirrels. But this is just looks like an ideal place. So, uh, see a deer it was at 7 25 a.m. so I'm um, go on a little bit of radio silence here and uh, if I see anything I'll try to get it on camera for you stay tuned guys just heard a gunshot very close so it was probably Wayne I don't know if he got a deer yet of course I guess I'll find out in a few minutes because he'll probably come heading this way hopefully he did but uh, in case he missed I gotta keep my eyes open so stick around and I'll let you know what happened Well guys, 
It's 8.25. It's been an hour since I heard what I think was my friend Wayne taking a shot. But I haven't heard or seen from him, so I'm guessing that he missed. Or he's following a blood trail. Uh, we agreed to hunt until 10 o'clock. I have seen all kind of dove, red birds, squirrels, eating hard to hear corn. I'll try to zoom in on some dove now. Yeah, everything's eating the deer corn except for the deer. But I'm not going to give up. Still got about an hour and a half. I hate that the shot that he took was a miss, if that's the case. I also hate that I haven't seen anything. But anyway, let me get back to it. Stay tuned, guys. starting to roll in from this direction over here you can see how foggy it is all right guys well it's nine o'clock now we're gonna give it one more hour dozens of squirrels lots of birds but the deer just have not traveled this direction so far today so far I'm still hopeful but uh, it's just it's great to be out here and enjoy uh, what God has created it's a beautiful piece of property it seems like it would be so prime for deer and uh, Wayne has trail cams here and he has seen a lot of doe and a six point buck on the trail cams but they're being very elusive you're so, watering it yeah the squirrels were drinking out of that yeah. pool right there yeah, i got a garbage can over there what's uh, in there corn there. no i i uh collect water in there and i put that in my pool when my pool gets low what's that that's a feeder oh it's a feeder yeah okay yeah, So here's what we were hoping the deer would come to. Yeah, of course, a bunch of apples here. Yes, yesterday or the day before. I thought they'd be in here like gangbusters this morning. Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm gonna. Those deer were coming this way. So you were down. You were down here when you made that shot. Yeah. If you just follow that creek down there, it runs to a big creek. Uh huh. And then you go up, and there's one little hill right there. I'm right on the other side of that hill right there. I. And there were four of them? Four, yeah. Wow. I was wait I waited till they all come in because I thought maybe there was a buck behind them. But they weren't looking back. They were they were kind of just kind of running, you know, jogging along. Yeah. So when they they got down in, in the bottom down in there, they started slowing down. A couple of them started feeding. And I was looking to see which was the biggest doe. And when I got a clear shot at that one. I put it right on her shoulder. I don't know how I missed. It was like maybe 30 yards. Mm. That's sometimes. how it works sometimes. Yeah. That's a nice stand though. I, I, yeah, it's I got, got a a such a good up. view. Yeah. It's got such a good view of this area sitting up high like that.
All right, so it turns out it was Wayne that made that shot today at 7.35. He saw a Ford doe that uh, popped out on him, and uh, he was down this way at the creek bed down there in a ground blind. Took a shot, but he said he searched for over an hour, didn't see any blood, so it must have been a clean miss. But anyway, sorry I couldn't get a deer for you guys. Maybe next time. I appreciate you coming along on Airborne Outdoors. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.